music is a universal language and the people who have brought the music, who have written the music, who have sung the music, who have played the music, ought to be acknowledged for what they have done. And I'm very pleased to have been chosen as one of those people. Um, there is nothing that the world needs more than peace. We need love and we need peace. Those two subjects, those two items are what we need most. We won't survive. We will not survive. The world will not survive. People will not survive if we don't start implementing love and peace in our relationships. Are you ready? Then please welcome Gloria Gaynor. First I was afraid I was petrified Kept thinking I could never live Without you by my side But then I spent so
Gloria Gaynor is an icon of American music. Her song, I Will Survive, is one of the most recognized songs. It's been used for uh, every time there's a disaster or some, some, some event that uh, really requires uh, something with emotion and feeling that expresses, you know, the uh, sorrow for something that's happened, but hum humanity rising up above it and, um, you know, succeeding and, and, and winning even in spite of adversity. And I Will Survive is a great classic song for this, and Gloria Gaynor uh, was the first um, recipient of the um, World Peace Music Award for the, for the reason that she has been such a contributor over the years to uh, uh, important causes. My name is John Hardy and we're working on the creation of the World Peace Award. My name is Cindy McClure and I'm a sculptor from Vancouver, Washington. When I hear the word award, I often think that wouldn't it be nice if the award was as full of integrity in its physical being as the, the idea of the person that was doing the award. The intention of the award is to honor someone the act for an act that has great integrity. After I sculpted the piece, I was told that John Hardy would be collaborating with me and executing the actual statue itself, and uh, what a privilege for me to have a joint venture with John. The praying hands in the center, representing the spirituality and love that this, this, this people here on this island have, and each of the beads that they are holding represent an undying prayer for world peace.